Data analysis is an exciting and rapidly growing field that is essential for businesses, organizations, and governments to make informed decisions with their data. I recall back when I wanted to learn data analytics and I was just overwhelmed with the amount of tools and methods and things I'd need to learn. I simply didn't know where to start. And so my goal with this video is to help those of you that feel the same way. If you're interested in pursuing a career as a data analyst, then this video will give you an overview of the skills, knowledge and experience that you need in order to succeed in the role. Whether you're a recent graduate looking to start their first job in data analytics or you're an experienced professional looking to transition into a new career and this video will provide you with valuable information to help you get started and advance your career as a data analyst in 2023. Hi everyone, if you're new here, then my name is Josh and on this channel, we explore the tools and strategies that will give you success in the data field. Step one, understand the roles and responsibilities of a data analyst. Before we dive into how to become a data analyst, it's important to understand what a data analyst role is and what their responsibilities are. In general, a data analyst is responsible for collecting, organizing, and analyzing large data sets to support business decision-making as well as strategic planning. This can involve tasks such as the cleaning and pre-processing of data, developing statistical models, the creation and development of analytics assets and dashboards, and importantly, communicating those insights to stakeholders. Data analysts commonly work with data scientists, business analysts, and other professionals in the organization to ensure that data is used efficiently and effectively. I have a video going through the typical day as a data analyst in Dubai, so if you're interested in seeing what that looks like, you can click right here. Step two, develop the necessary skills and knowledge. To become a successful data analyst, you'll need to develop skills and knowledge in both technical and non-technical areas. Some of those skills that you need to develop are programming and scripting languages. Data analysts will typically work with programming languages such as R, Python and SQL in order to develop statistical models. Next, data manipulation and visualization. Data analysts need to be able to work and manipulate data in tools such as Excel, Tableau or Power BI. They also need to be able to create clear and effective visualizations in order to communicate their insights. Next is statistical analysis. Data analysts need to be familiar with statistical concepts and methods. You don't have to have a degree in mathematics or statistics, but you should be comfortable working with concepts such as machine learning, regression, and probability. A data analyst also needs to know business acumen. Data analysts need to be able to understand and interpret business data in order to provide insights and recommendations that support business decision making. Next is communication and collaboration. Data analysts need to be able to communicate complex technical ideas to non-technical people. They also need to be able to work closely and collaborate with people around the business in order to reach common goals. Personally, I find that this is one of the most important and often overlooked aspects of being a data analyst. You can be amazing at analyzing data and generating ideas, but if you can't influence people to accept those ideas, then you're not going to go very far as a data analyst. The cornerstone of a successful data analyst is influence, collaboration, and communication. So there's a lot of skills and knowledge that you need to obtain if you want to be a successful data analyst. You can either build your own self-paced learning path and start learning these skills, or you can instead opt for something such as the Google Data Analysis Program, which is highly recommended and will teach you most of these skills. In addition to getting the necessary skills and knowledge, it's important that you also get the right experience and education if you want to succeed as a data analyst. This step is quite difficult because in order to get a job, you need experience. And in order to get experience, well, you need to get a job. So how do you do it? But with these next tips, you can demonstrate to recruiters that you have the necessary skills and knowledge in order to be successful in the role with little actual job experience. This is how my career path went. I don't have any formalized degree in data analytics or any other relevant degree that would support that role. I went and got my first job in data analytics by proving to recruiters that I have the skills and knowledge. And these are some of the things that I learned along the way. Most crucially, you need to build a portfolio. One of the best ways to demonstrate to recruiters that you have the necessary skills is to build a portfolio that showcases your capabilities. This can include projects that you've done as part of your school or education. It can also include projects that you've done in your own personal time. You can find many great and interesting data sets on websites such as Kaggle that will allow you to explore that data, create projects, and you can add them to your portfolio. 
The key to a really good portfolio project is to focus less on the technical aspects of the project and instead focus much more on the value you delivered through the analysis that you did. So don't focus too much on the models and the statistical methods that you used and intricacies with the dashboard or the visualizations you created and instead focus more attention on the value you delivered to the organization for this project. I've been a hiring manager and have hired lots of different data analysts and in many cases I've hired people that don't necessarily have the full capabilities in tools such as Power BI or Tableau. In those cases, the candidate has really demonstrated to me that they can deliver value to the business and they can treat data as an asset and leverage it to make successful decisions. It's much easier to teach someone how to use Power BI more effectively than it is to teach someone how to think about data and utilize it effectively in the organization. The next tip is to get yourself certified. There are many professional certifications for data analytics, including the Certified Analytics Professional, and the Certified Data Professional. These certifications can help you stand out in the job market and demonstrate to potential employers that you have the skills and knowledge that they're looking for. Another option is to pursue a formalized degree. Whilst it's not necessary to have a degree to become a data analyst, pursuing a degree in a related field such as computer science or statistics can help you stand out in the job market and provide you with valuable knowledge and experience. Finally, it's important to gain practical experience by working with real world data. This can include pursuing opportunities that allow you to use those new skills that you've learned, such as internships or freelancing. Next, it's crucial to understand how to overcome the challenges with self-paced learning, because everything that we've learned so far is useless if you fall into one of the many traps with self-paced learning, which is why you should watch this video next.